Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Um, as you can see, today we're doing something a little bit different. If you do not know, I am a big World of Warcraft enjoyer. <laughs> um, I am still learning the game and kind of figuring it out. But I really, really do like World of Warcraft. I find it to be a very fun, uh, immersive game. The class, race, fantasy in this game is so good. It has my favorite um, class race combination, which is a Night Elf Druid. And I have not experienced this much joy playing a like an elven uh, forest, elven druid. Um, in any game other than World of Warcraft, like this is the best representation of how I see this race in class. And as you can see, I am quite obsessed with Night Elves. Um, so recently, Blizzard released a new patch where they added an ability for you to make a warlock on all of the all of the races. Um, so we're going to be making a Warlock Night Elf today. Um, if you have found my channel through ESO videos, worry not. I do not quit ESO or anything like that. Um, I just enjoy an MMO genre in general. So I tend to dive into different MMOs and I just generally have played many, many different MMOs. World of Warcraft and ESO are just my top um, favorites. So, yeah, I wanted to share this fun time with all of you today. So, yeah, let's let's make a new character, I guess. So, we are in the character creation right now. Um, as you can see, I have selected a warlock. Um, warlocks cast fire or shadow magic to damage, drain, or curse their enemies. They summon demons as servants and roll is a ranged damage so i am someone who usually doesn't play like dark classes um but i could not pass up this opportunity to play a new um class that i've never played on my favorite race in the game so let's customize her i guess um let's see so, hmm, I, I personally don't roleplay in games, but I like to do a soft roleplay, if you will. The way I tend to customize my characters, and I do love customizing, like customization, hair, uh, face, tattoos, um, scars, all of those little details do matter to me. And I do take them into consideration when I make a character. So I like to think of what race, uh, class, combination would go with their like customization options. So like let's say if she has a scar over her eye like this, I would make one eye uh, blind so that she cannot like so that it, it's kind of immersive it has a story behind it in a way so let's say she hurt her eye and she lost vision um stuff like that is what i like to think about and since i don't really play dark classes um we can we can like see and kind of decide what path to choose i guess so let's start with um, skin colors there are tons of different tones in here so we could choose the one that is kind of fitting for her um i would think that more of like a darker like this would be kind of fitting for a warlock um, night elf so let's go with this option right here bit of a darker option I would say it looks like this um, when it comes to the face let's let's um, kind of scroll through and decide together 
So, we have this one, this one, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, and ninth. Okay, so out of all of these faces, um, I can think of her as someone who is a little bit grumpy, maybe? Something like this, I think would be quite fitting for the hairstyle. I'm gonna leave the ha um, no hair right now because I want to customize her face. And once I'm done with her face, we can move on to the hair. So, we're not gonna be doing hair, color, vine, and vine color. Let's do the eyebrows. I'm gonna give her, um, let's go with short eyebrows and then we can change it something comes up so we have these options here i don't like these bushy ones uh, lifted and wild so long or short is usually what i go for let's go with the short for now because i don't want to like overload the customization stuff ears so we have thin let's start with thin it's like the regular vanilla night elf ears thick feral short rough so i think rough would be kind of fitting for her it's kind of scuffed she has she has been through a lot in a way <laughs> let's move on to the accessories now scars oh this is fun okay let's see let's start with none um we have swipe which is across her face over here. We have Teldrassil. Teldrassil is the tree that the night elves live in or lived in until a character named uh, Sylvanas, as far as I know, <laughs> burned it down. Very upsetting. So this is the burn scar from Teldrassil. And it's called Teldrassil. <laughs> Um, we have a scratch rip, which is on here. We have claw. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna go with scratch eye color. We ha Let's start with the first one. We have this blue, whitish blue. We have blue blue. We have yellow, black, and red, which also changes the skin and the face and everything. So, I'm going to go with the black. These are the, I believe, Night Warrior eyes. So, since she is a DPS, Night Warrior, I think it would be quite fitting. Also, it fits the dark theme of her class. So, I'm just going to go with this one. Eyesight. It's either both, right, left, or neither. So, I'm gonna go with this option. Um, because, as you can see, she has a scratch and she lost an eyesight. She lost her eyesight due to her scratch. So, I think it would be like a believable lore little detail, if you will. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, let's see. Markings. These are the Nidal facial markings. So we have bear. Oh, I'm gonna make it... Hmm. Let's make it like dark green and scroll through it. Or even purple, actually. Let's make it dark purple and scroll through. Okay, we have a bear. A blade. Rain, leaf, claws, wings, serpent, owl, shadow. Oh, and that's it. Shadow is the final one. So I don't usually add any face markings um, on my night elves. So I'm going to be just choosing none option so we can see her pretty face. 
let's see, um, hair, head dress. It's either none, um, circlet, which looks like this, or a vine, which looks like this. So, I might go with the circlet, but let's decide on which hair we want to add, and then we can see if it's going to be fitting, because it might not fit the aesthetic and everything. So, earrings, let's start with none. We have a crescent, which is this moon. It's so beautiful. I would actually love to have something like this. I think I do have these kinds of earrings, but they are really, really tiny. Not as, like, bulky, I guess. Um, we have these regular little rings on the side. We have blades, which look like this. On both sides. And, oh, that's it. So, for her, I think I will go with blades, because um, her entire aesthetic is very harsh um, and like spiky is how I imagine her. So we are going to go with this. Nose ring. Let's scroll through. There is none. Um, ring, which is over here. There is a septum. I love septum piercings. I have one as well. I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, you cannot see anything. <laughs> but um, if you check my Instagram or my stream, you can see it there. Um, there's a stud, which is very subtle, and that's it. So, I'm gonna go with a septum, I think, because it kind of balances everything out, like, in the middle, in a way. Let's see, a necklace. We have a few options for the necklaces. There is a chain, which wraps all the way around, but you cannot see it, sadly, because of her armor. <laughs> And we have a choker and the vine. So I'm going to be removing this because um, I don't really like to add like body accessories in character creation because I'm not sure what she's going to be wearing throughout the game. So I'd rather have like an empty canvas, if you will, because I usually do not wear anything um, like any ha hair headdress, if you will. I just remove it entirely on nearly all of my characters, so I know that this will be untouched in a way. Okay, now we can move on to um, the hair. Let's see, let's start with the first option, but I will be making her hair... Hmm. I do plan on making it black, but since we have the first option selected right now, let's just scroll through the different hair colors on this beautiful long hair. So we have this blondie-ish, reddish type of color, which is so pretty. Uh, we have green, which looks like this. It's kind of like ombre in a way, kind of darker on the bottom. Uh, we have darker green, like this. We have this like teal-ish, greenish, bluish type of color. Um, I'm not sure which one is more teal. It's like dark teal and bright teal, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> or it's like all greenish, bluish. It's so beautiful. I wish I could have this hair. It's so pretty. We have blue darker blue, even darker blue, <laughs> even darker, darker blue. Ooh, I love this. It's very beautiful purple. It's my favorite color, by the way, if you didn't know. Best color in the world. Pink, darker pink, brighter pink, white, and then black. So, for her aesthetic, um, I really want to go with black hair 
and let's scroll through and decide which hairstyle we're going to be going with today. <laughs> so, we have long, loose tail. Looks like this. We have short. It's really sad that it's clipping through the armor. I wish she would wear something like less aggressive, I guess. <laughs> uh, we have high tail, which is similar to the other one, but she has little bangs on the sides here. We have braided tails, which are these big um, ponytails, not ponytails, braids. have short tail. It's also very cute. I remember using this in the vanilla, like classic, for my druid. This or the long one. A uh, braided tail. This is also very beautiful. I love how they have added like physics onto this bottom part. It's really pretty. We have a hairband, which looks like this. It's very basic, very simple. We have soaked, which looks very uh, wet, I guess. <laughs> we have tomboy. This is quite fitting for this type of armor or anything that's up, up do. We have gathered, which has this like little braid in the middle. We have loop. And it's not really super visible, but she has these little braided loopies over here on the sides, which is very adorable. Uh, sassy buns, these are really cute. <laughs> uh, sassy tails, I'm using this on my mage, it looks really, really adorable. Uh, pixie. Ball. We have a top knot, like so. We have Sombra, which is a character from Overwatch. She has a similar type of hair, and I guess they just named it Sombra. We have Shaggy. I'm using this on my druid. Um, it's very messy. I, I love it a lot. It's really, really cute. It's very druid. Either this or this big braid. Hmm. Because she might be someone who doesn't have time to get ready to f save the world every morning, you know? So she just gets up, does her thing, brushes her hair, and just goes out. Or she just braids her hair and just doesn't think about it anymore. That's kind of what I, how I see her in a way. So, um, since I can't decide between these two, I'm just going to go with the long one. Because I think this is a, a bit more flattering just in my eyes. And I just like this more. So, this is what we're going to go with. As for vines, let's try and see if we can make anything make sense. Um, we have yellow. Oh, no, we have orange and then yellow. <laughs> Green, blue, and purple. Like Even though she is a night elf still, I just feel like she wouldn't wear vines in her hair that's just that's just how i feel yeah i don't think she would eyebrows hmm let's go with i'm gonna go with long eyebrows actually because i feel like it like balances everything in a way so i do like this more so i'm gonna go with this option i think I can just change it in the future if something. 
and then over here hmm do I want a hand dress? I mean if we do this I just feel like this part is really heavy with just a bunch of details so it's overloading the entire look in my opinion so let's just go without the hit the the circlet this is fine okay now as for her name let's name her hmm I'm gonna go with Elgernon. Is it Elgernon? Yes, okay. Her name is gonna be Elgernon. And let's see if it is taken. It is taken! What about Elgernon? Okay. Um, Elgernon is a, a elven prince of vengeance in Dragon Age um, like lore so sometimes if I don't really know what names to give my characters I go with elven uh, like god names from Dragon Age and sometimes they fit really well so Elgernon is a prince of vengeance um, and I think something else but I don't remember right now so this would be like a perfect dark name and the theme and everything <laughs> so yeah let's make her i will start with shadow glen for her and she is made oh my god it is so exciting here's our elgernon <laughs> um so i hope you enjoyed today's video it's a little bit short but i wanted to make like a quick world of warcraft um character creation video because I think it's very cozy and I kind of wanted to make it with you guys so we could chill <laughs> I guess um, now I have a bunch of different um, items I'm so happy <laughs> and yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I want to do a little like questing leveling um, playthrough stream on her um, not stream video so I do hope that you will enjoy some World of Warcraft cozy content because this is super super cozy to me. Um, I really love it. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you have a great sleep, great time, whatever you are doing. Um, and please check out all of my socials in the description. I would really really appreciate it. You can join me on my Twitch where I do play World of Warcraft and different games as well. Um, and we can chat and all the good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you next time. Bye!